Welcome to GSF Driving and Truck Training School. Today we will be doing the Class B Vehicle Inspection. Uh, this consists of three parts. First, uh, we'll do the air brakes, uh, then we'll do the in-cab and the walk-around. In order to pass your inspection, you must pass all three parts. So please step inside with me as we start with the air brake inspection for the Class B Bobtail. When you step inside, be sure to make three points of contact as you step inside the vehicle. So one, two, and three as you go inside. Okay, so we're ready to begin. The first, uh, the first thing we're going to do is the air brake inspection. Uh, it is comprised of six steps. The first step is called the applied pressure test. The second step is called the low air warning test. The third step we're going to demonstrate is the emergency pop-out test. The fourth step is called the governor cut-out test. The fifth step is called the governor cut-in test. And lastly, we'll do the individual brake test where we'll be checking both brakes on the bobtail. So the first thing you need to do is to put on your seatbelt. Once you do that, you're ready to begin. Um, I want you to check the pressure on your air gauge. I want you to make sure that you're below 100 PSI when you start. So in this case, we're near 119, uh, which means that I will uh, press the brake, depress the brake in order to go ahead and uh, lower the pressure. It is also very important to get to know your gauge. Um, you must be able to read it accurately. In this case, we have a gauge which has uh, increments of 10 PSI. Uh, some gauges have increments of 25. Uh, you must be able to give an accurate reading in order to pass your exam. Uh, here, we're near approximately 95 PSI and we're ready to begin. So you would say, uh, okay, Mr. Examiner, make sure you greet him. Tell him uh, the first step I will demonstrate for you will be the applied pressure test. For this, uh, I'm gonna be turning on the vehicle. This means that we must have uh, a safe start, meaning that the vehicle must be in neutral when we start, which it is, and my parking brake must be on. So as we're ready to begin, what I'm going to do is turn on the vehicle and build up to maximum capacity. For the applied pressure test, uh, the point of the applied pressure test is to check the rate of air leakage within the Class B vehicle. In the Class B vehicle, we're not supposed to lose more than three PSI in one minute of pressure. So I will be turning on my vehicle and building up to maximum capacity. You can tell the examiner, sir, I'm gonna be stepping on the gas in order to build up the pressure a little faster. can do so without going over 1500 RPMs. We will reach maximum capacity once our needle stops moving on our supply gauge. Okay, my needle has stopped moving. Uh, the primary gauge is currently at 127 PSI. What I will do now is I will put the vehicle into a low gear. I will now turn off the vehicle using the key. It's important that when you turn off the vehicle, you put the electricity, uh, the electric system back on. So I'm turning the key back to the right. Uh, and at this step, I will release my parking brake. Once the needle stabilizes, uh, I'm gonna be stepping on my foot brake for one minute. Uh, once the foot is all the way down, that is where I'm gonna call out the pressure. Uh, that is where I'm going to be beginning at that PSI. And in one minute, 